Hello, hello, hello. It's Tanisha O'Shell, the voice of beauty. I'm coming live from my garden, y'all. And it's such a beautiful day out here in Georgia. So what I am doing is I am potting up some um, tomatoes and peppers in my grow bag. Let me see if I can get a better view for you guys. <sighs> Hey guys, I'm outside in my garden planting some tomatoes. Uh -huh. right. oh. In my grow bag, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I've already filled these suckers up with um, leaves. I got some leaves from the yard. I put on the bottom and then I put some potting soil. Some, um, ooh. Some container soil. I like to use this right here <clears throat> from Lowe's. Tiger or something or other. What is it called? Jungle growth. Yes. So I put that on top of the leaves and then I put some black cow fertilizer in there as well. And I put some 10, I can't move that big bag, 10, 10 fertilizer and also some Epsom salt. So that's what you see inside this bag here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix them up. Hi, Pat. Hello. Mix them up. Mix all that stuff up in there. And I'm going to get those tomatoes in here in these grow bags. So it's such a nice day. I said, let me come on. Hi, who's there? Hi, Kim. I see you. Hey. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood today, so I think it's about 70 degrees. So I said, let me get out here and get these tomatoes in these grow bags. These, I got uh, 11 five pound, five, uh, five gallon, I guess they call it five gallon uh, grow bags. And I have three um, seven gallon. I'm going to put the uh, peppers in the seven gallon. But this took me three bags of soil. Three bags of jungle growth, two cubic um, soil bags. Here these big bags to fill up what I have here. So I'm gonna mix up one more. Well, I'll mix them all up actually. Just go ahead and get these things, these tomatoes in there. So again, I got the uh, leaves at the bottom, and that helps me save on some dirt because the, the, the soil is expensive. We got some leaves from the yard, from the yard right there in here on the bottom. And then I got some jungle growth soil. And I have some uh, cow manure in here and also some fertilizer, 1010 10 fertilizer, 1010 10 10 fertilizer, and Epsom salt. Always want to put Epsom salt in your arm. Hey, Tam. Are you going to get your garden stuff? Are you getting started for your garden? So I'm doing these in bags, so in case you live somewhere where you don't have a backyard or you just don't feel like digging in the ground, you can use these grow bags. Okay, I got them from Amazon. And you put your stuff in there and uh, the water seeps right out there. You don't have a problem with your plants drowning and you can control them. And once I get these tomatoes in here, tomatoes and peppers, I'm going to put some other herbs on the bottom as well, like some peppermint and some marigolds and some oregano, oh, some basil, some things to help with the soil and also to um, keep the bugs away and make them nice and pretty. So we know that the, the peppermint and stuff, that stuff's gonna stay low, it's low, and then the, the tomatoes will grow right up and I'll stake them, put a cage in each bag too. So now I'm just blending my soil together my fertilizer, Epsom salt, cow manure, blah, blah, blah. gotta say cow manure like that. And then I'm gonna get the peppers in there, peppers and tomatoes. And today I'm gonna be planting some um, one 
uh, Cherokee tomato. Now, I didn't grow that from seed, but I'm going to plant one of those because I didn't get the seeds for that. And then the rest are going to be Roma tomatoes for my spaghetti sauce. And I got about 15 more tomato plants that aren't ready to go in yet. They're still up under the lights and peppers and stuff inside. But these are ready to go. And I picked up some marigolds to go with them. And I'm also going to put some marigold seeds in there too. So that um, that it'll come up while we're waiting for it to harvest also. So I'll put these plugs in here, marigold plugs. Uh, some mint, some type of herb. And then some seeds, some corresponding seeds as well. So that we can get a harvest, continual harvest. And the good thing I like about these bags and your herbs is that, hey Yolanda, I'm out here in my garden. The thing about putting the herbs in these bags is that you contain it because we know mint is very invasive so it will take over your whole yard. So I put it in here, we can contain it. I have all the mint that I need for my products <clears throat> and my teas and my smoke blends. So I use my mints and my herbs and all of that stuff for those different products that I make too. Again, if you're just watching, I'm out here in the garden getting ready to put my tomatoes in these grow bags. So if you wanted to grow something at home but you don't have a garden, you can easily get some of these grow bags um, and put your, your uh, vegetables in here. I'll put one, one uh, tomato plant in here and then again I'm going to put some herbs around the bottom of it. Right now, I'm just mixing up the soils. Whew. So I don't go to the gym. This is three pounds. The peppers are going to go in there. But this is a workout. By the time you lift up those bags and do all that other stuff, baby, it's a workout. So here we are. Getting this soil together. Tree tree, hi sweetie pie, what's up cousin? I'm out here in my garden getting my country girl thing on. Getting my soil ready to put some peppers in there. I got some, I got uh, two different types of peppers that I want to put in here. One is something that I've never seen. I got that too um, as a starter. So I'm going to put them in there. A couple more days I'll be putting out my moringa seeds. I'm going to put them in bags too, I think. And I do have some trees, apple trees, that I think that I'm going to put in. I got a big old 20 gallon bag. So this is the three gallon. The bigger ones here are five gallons, so I got 20 gallons that I'm going to put some trees, different uh, fruit trees in. I got some bulb, uh, blueberry trees, two blueberry trees, two fig trees, uh, two apple trees, and I want to get some Myers lemons. Does anybody out there have any? Hey, Teresa, I'm out here in the garden getting my um, vegetables in these grow bags so that they can get started and I could be done with it. So I filled up these bags with dirt. Well, first I put some um, leaves in it from the yard, raked up some leaves. So I've been getting a, a workout today. Put some leaves on the bottom. Then I put... Uh, well, see, the thing about these grow bags is that if I need to transport them, I can move them, see? So that's the good thing about these. You need to move them. If they're not doing well in the right, in a good location, you can move them. The animals want to get funky, I can move them. Alright? So again, I'm just mixing these soils together. And pretty soon I'm going to introduce... Who's there? What's up, Goo? You see me in the garden? I'm in the garden getting it in. Goo, I got my goo ba grow, um, grow bags going today. And I'm going to put some peppers and some Roma tomatoes in today. And let them just have their fun out here. It's about 70 degrees here in Georgia, I mean noon in Georgia, and I'm having fun with my grow bags in my uh, box garden over there, in my raised garden. Whew. We got some uh, collard greens in there, 
Also some kale, some spinach, and some mustard greens. I got all my greens and stuff in that uh, box now. So I'm going to put my tomatoes in grow bags this year. I'm thinking it's going to look pretty. And it's going to be... Because last year my tomatoes got so... It was like a jungle. You know, you had to stay on it. So this way I can keep them separate, each plant. And it'll help me to maintain them. So I'm just mixing up the soil now again. The bottom of this bag I have leaves. And then I put some potting soil. Uh, some um, uh, container soil in there. And make sure that I do that so that they settle down on top of leaves. And then we got some cow manure. Some fertilizer. 10, 10, 10 fertilizer. And some Epsom salt. And these babies are going to be ready to go in. I'm going to put some marigolds that I picked up yesterday in there so they can look pretty on the bottom but also keep away those pesky bugs and also some mint I got some um, peppermint I got some oregano some uh, sweet mint and some lemon balm so I'm going to put some of those seeds in there maybe I'll put a sprig in there too let me say hey cousin I see you there I'm out in the garden. It's God's garden girl coming to y'all live. Everybody always says, make a blog or make a video or something. So I'm out here, so you're out here with me. So again, I just filled these up with leaves, uh, soil, cow manure, fertilizer, and Epsom salt. That's what I'm using for my plant mix, my vegetable mix. Mixing it all together. And this is the last one, so y'all can see me put these peppers in, and I can tell you what type of pepper it is. I'm going to get that good and mixed up. And uh, in case you're wondering, this cow manure, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, do. Um, this cow manure doesn't stink. It doesn't smell like a piece of poo-poo, so that made me happy. All right, so now we got the first one ready to go. I'm just going to put a little hole in there. So that I can get my plant in there. There we go. We got a little hole in there. And let me go get the plants. Let me go get the babies. Here's the marigolds. We're going to put some of them around them. And here is the pepper. It's called a Pablo, Pablano Ancho hot pepper. So I didn't have seeds for this type. I do have seeds for about four, five or six different ones growing inside that were ready to come out in about a week. But this one I didn't have. So I wanted to get it. And it's just simple. I'm going to squeeze the bottom tag out. Got in there so I know what it is. Here's your plant. Here's your little pepper plant. Say hello to Pablo. Pablano. Whatever the Pablano's name is. And I'm just going to drop it in there. And that's it. It's so simple. And once I get all of these in, I'm going to water them in. And this will be their new home. Here you have it. That's my Pablano. Pablano. What is this called? Pablano. It makes me want to speak Spanish. My Pablano. Eh? Or is that Italian? I don't know. Hot pepper. Alright, that's the one down. And the good thing is I can put them anywhere I want. Alright, so what's this? What is this? Tomato. Amish. Okay, so we're going to put that in the five pound. The five gallon. This is an Amish paste tomato. So simple, guys, but the reward of growing your own food, and nothing tastes like growing your own vegetables. 
I don't even like tomatoes from the store, really. But from the garden, mm -hmm. oh, so this whole thing goes in there. So if you get, the, if you buy starters, this I got from Walmart because I just couldn't say no. I had to get something. But some of them have this, uh, this uh, cup or pot that is made out of paper, and you could just plant the whole pot. So you don't have to take it out. So that's what's going on here. It's going to take the plastic off. And with all the stuff going on, y'all better get to growing some food. Grow your food. Grow your food. And I just put this whole thing in there. Dig a hole for it. And that baby is in. Cover her up. And Pablo. Oh, let's put some uh, marigolds in here while we got the guys here. Pablo is in. Say hello to Pablo. Pablo. What's that? I'm seeing stuff behind me like, all right now. Who's that? Hi, Auntie Sabrina. Who else is there? Kelsey, I see you. I'm out in my garden planting some tomatoes in my grow bags. I just filled these grow bags up today. Um, we did about a dozen, a dozen or so. So I'm planting a tomato. This is a Pablo tomato. Oh no, this is the Amish paste. The Pablo is the pepper. And then I'm going to put uh, some marigolds in there too just to make sure that the bugs don't start bugging. So that the bugs don't start bugging. Put that little pretty, pretty little thing in there too. All right, I'm gonna put two in each um, tomato plant. Okay. And you just—it's so simple. You just dig a hole, put them in. Dig a hole, put them in. in here first. I'll come back and do that. Put my uh, cages in there. So that when the tomatoes grow up, they'll have a cage. If they get long and they get heavy and they lean over, they're like your fat Joe. The tomato plants, they don't dance. They just lean back. Lean back. So we want to stake them. <laughs> uh, see, the tomatoes don't dance. They just pull up their pants and do the rock away. Lean back. All right. So this is the tomato. Where's my uh, sticker? This is the Amish paste tomato. It's another one that's gonna be good for making my spaghetti sauces. Oh, and that's what it looks like there with the marigolds in it. Again, look at this pot. I could just pick this up and move it and put it wherever I want. But right now I'm in the driveway, getting all this stuff together. And then when I do, I can put them anywhere I want. Two down. Okay, next we got the Cherokee. Purple Cherokee. These I got right from uh, Home Depot. While I'm waiting on my starters inside, they have about a week or so left. They'll be ready to come out too. But I got this from Home Depot. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the pot. Make a hole for it. And it's okay to put it a little bit lower, as low as the, um, as high as that first little set of leaves, because it makes them nice and thick, your vines. So go ahead and put it in, in that hole that you made, and that's it. This is going to be a nice one, too. Okay, that's your um, Cherokee purple tomatoes. Yeah, and then I'm going to put a couple marigolds in here. And then I'm going to come back again and sprinkle some um, pepper they seeds in there. That's amazing. And uh, a couple different types of herbs we're going to put at the bottom too.
about it. And, and just push them up from the bottom and they'll come right up. Yeah, my camera just went dark on me. Y'all still there? You don't know what that's about. Maybe my battery could be my battery. Oh, of course. It's the story of my life, people. Battery. Right, I'm almost finished here yeah. with these bags. But let me show you what I got here. Again, this is a uh, Cherokee purple tomato, and I'm putting some marigolds in there. Help the soil stay healthy, keep the bugs away. And then I'll show you this, and then I'm gonna sign off because my battery is dead. Here we go. Here we go. That's your tomato in there in my grow bag with my uh, marigolds in there. And that's that. So I just wanted to share that with you guys today. Um, I got to hang up. I got to hang up because uh, my battery is running dead and I'm outside. So I hope that helps somebody out if you want to grow something in your um grow something actually you can grow these in the house like your tomatoes and stuff in the house if you don't have outside space or if you're in somewhere you're somewhere that doesn't have warm weather yet you could just pick it up and bring it in you get a little plastic uh saucer underneath so when you water it and you're good to go put it in the window or put some lights on it and you're good to go all right my name's Tanisha O'Shell I'm the voice of beauty uh God's garden girl and you're joining me live and I'm out of here because this is going to go off. Peace. Alright y'all. Let me see how you rotate. You can't rotate while your phone is live. Uh -oh. How do you finish?